Represent is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. In the moving documentary, Caesar's Last Fast, filmmakers pay tribute to one of the greatest civil rights leaders of the 20th century, Caesar Chavez. Bringing never before seen footage to life, the film is not only a testament to the lifelong advocate's fight for farm workers, but also a symbol of his commitment during his final fast that lasted 36 days. Today is uh, day 30 of Mr. Chavez's water fast. He's lost uh, approximately 30 pounds uh, Caesar's Last Fast is a documentary about Caesar Chavez's uh, intense commitment to fighting for farm worker rights and the people who are carrying out that fight today. He undertook this fast as uh, an act of penance, which is a, an act of personal introspection, um, to uh, ask himself, well, what more can I do? The culminating scene in the film is, is when Caesar breaks his fast after 36 days of, of no food, water only, in front of 7,000 people at a mass, and the Kennedy family is there, and uh, Martin Sheen, and Edward James Almos. And when I first saw Caesar's son and his family carrying him in, and him sitting next to his, his 96-year-old mother, and her tears. I've seen the scene dozens and dozens, hundreds maybe of times now, and I cannot watch it without getting completely filled with emotion. We present now for any participants of treasure on this altar, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. The filmmakers behind Caesar's Last Fast believe his cause is just as relevant today as it was 20 years ago. But for director Richard Ray Perez, the connection to the story is much more personal. When this project came along, I couldn't turn it down. My father was a, a farm worker for 22 years. But when we were growing up, we uh, were very aware about the type of work that he did. And then he always said he didn't want us to do that type of work. Caesar, he showed us a model in how communities of poor, disempowered people can organize around issues that are important then to make important changes to the country and just as important today as he was then. Then why don't you let us have an election? If we're gonna have an election, we're gonna be here for 10 years. You're not gonna be here 10 years, 30 years, five years. We're, gonna, we're not gonna go. Now, we have an election today, 10 o'clock in the morning. By one minute for 10, we get out of here. You can have all of them. You know, all these guys who are workers, part of the Teamsters. We win the election, you guys take off. Caesar's story is, has been largely forgotten. It's time to revive his, his story, his legacy, not just for Latinos, and not just um, for Mexican Americans, but for all Americans. Selected to participate in the Sundance Institute, the filmmakers are nonetheless aware of their distribution challenges and are making strides to try and generate interest for Caesar's Last Fast in multiple platforms. We are making a film that's going to be distributed on all those platforms where you currently watch videos. So you can also go to our website website, caesarslastfast.com. We're having people post videos on our Facebook page, and they're going to tell us how Caesar inspired their life indirectly or directly. We need you all to see Caesar's example and to decide, uh, are you going to sit on the sidelines or are you going to be part of making this world a better place?